Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, uh, we're going to be talking about the New York Jets versus Miami Dolphins Week 7 matchup based on analytics. Each week, I collect all of the current 2017 NFL team data in order to analyze and project potential NFL performance. And since it's a weekly collection, it will always be a very fluid uh, way uh, to track uh, various team trends. However, there will always be little nuggets of data that could become bigger nuggets of data as the season continues. So stick around as I analyze each week's matchups based on analytics. And if you are new to the channel, all terms and definitions uh, will be in the description. So starting with this one particular matchup uh, between the Dolphins and the Jets, of course, this is a rematch. Uh, the Dolphins uh, played the Jets uh, earlier in the season. Uh, but so far, most of the data favors uh, the New York Jets, uh, pr pretty heavily, uh, in fact. Um, uh, of course, the Jets got the win, uh, the first win to begin with, but let's get into some reasons why the Jets are favored. So one thing is with defense. Uh, the Jets, when it comes to total D score, which is basically the ability to prevent first downs as a defense uh, all around, whether you're talking running, passing, etc., the Jets have a sizable difference uh, in terms of uh, the, you know, in terms of uh, the the Dolphins versus the Jets, uh, offensively speaking, the Dolphins do have a better offense in terms of getting first downs, but the Jets have a better offense when it comes to putting points on the board. Offensive score percentage much higher with the Jets than the Dolphins. So the Dolphins have a more efficient offense, but not a better scoring offense is the best way to put it based on the data. Uh, the, the only other advantages that the Dolphins do have is offensively speaking, the Dolphins do well when it comes to turnover ratio. The Jets have been not as good when it comes to turnover ratio. Uh, sack percentage also favors uh, the Dolphins as well uh, because the Jets uh, just allow way more sacks than the Dolphins have over the course of the, the last couple weeks. Uh, Defensively speaking, the, the Jets are better when it comes to allowing points, uh, you know, defensive score percentage. The Jets are also better when it comes to creating turnovers. Uh, and the only area where the Dolphins actually have an advantage on defense is sack percentage. Uh, they're better at sacking the quarterback than the Jets, who are one of the worst teams in the NFL when it comes to sack percentage. Uh, and interceptions, obviously, is in the favor of the Jets. And if you're a Dolphins fan, you, you, you can, you know, based on the last game, you can see why, you know, in terms of uh, getting interceptions, picks, etc. So, for the most part, Jets have a lot of advantages on defense. I mean, there's, there are certainly some things that are in Miami's favor. It's just the big things like offensive score percentage on offense and defensive score percentage on defense. Those things favor the Jets pretty, pretty tremendously. Um, so, those are going to be some factors to kind of look at. Now, special teams-wise, not a whole lot to talk about here. Both these teams are not great when it comes to punt return yardage. Both these teams are not great when it comes to kick return yardage. Stopping punt returns is more so with the Jets. Stopping uh, kick returns is more so, so with the Dolphins. Field goal percentage is more so with the Dolphins. The Jets actually don't, don't really have the best field goal percentage compared, compared to the rest of the NFL. The Jets do have the advantage when it comes to extra point percentage, very high for extra point percentage. And punting average is more so with the Jets, but it's pretty even between the two. So special teams-wise, it's a little more murkier to say who has the true advantage here. Uh, but, uh, but again, the overall data uh, favors the Jets uh, in this particular game. Uh, now we're going to get into some other sort of uh, matchup points. So starting with completion percentage, I'm not going to spend too much time at this, but this is the Dolphins' uh, offense in terms of completion percentage versus the Jets in terms of their ability to prevent completion percentage. And I would say this definitely goes into the Dolphins' favor, but the Dolphins can continue to be, it's been a consistent theme this season that they've been one of the worst teams when it comes to completion percentage on first down in the NFL. And the Jets are one of the best. So uh, in terms of preventing completion. So this is going to be sort of a, a matchup to see. Uh, then, of course, you look at the Jets' offense versus the Dolphins' defense when it comes to completion percentage. And uh, this more so favors the Jets' offense, though, uh, versus the Dolphins' defense. The Dolphins continue to have a lackluster pass defense. I mean, no doubt, the ability to stop the run and the defensive line is great. But the secondary, particularly cornerback position, and, and everything, that, everything to do with pass defense, uh, allowing completions and all those other sort of factors, 
way, just way, 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 way too heavily in that in that range. Um, so that's that's definitely a uh, uh, issue to consider, I guess. Uh, is uh, is the Dolphins' defense continues to not be the best when it comes to pass defense? Uh, then you look at rushing down. So this is the ability to create first downs with the run versus the ability to not allow uh, first downs with the run. And this uh, with the Dolphins' offense versus the Jets' defense. And most of this favors the Jets' defense, except for third downs. Uh, the one area where the Dolphins have been the, you know, one of the better teams in the NFL when it comes to getting first downs on third down, uh, is, uh, is you know they they're one of the better when it comes to getting uh, first downs on third down. So that's definitely one area where they have success. But I would say overall, most of this stuff does favor the Jets' defense. Then you look at the Jets' offense versus the Dolphins' defense, and heavily in favor of the Dolphins' defense. Uh, the Jets' offense only really has success on first downs when it comes to the run, and it just falls off a cliff on second and third down, which is where the, the Dolphins' defense gets its work done. They, they perform best on second down and third down when it comes to crucial situations. So pretty much in favor of the Dolphins' run defense in this particular matchup uh, up to this point. And we look at passing down. So this is the Dolphins' passing offense versus the Jets' passing defense. Mostly favors the Jets' defense, as you can clearly see, except for second down. But this continues to be a consistent issue with the Dolphins' passing offense this year. They tend to do well on second down situations, but not so good when it comes to first down or third down. So that continues to be an issue for them. Uh, then you look at the Jets' offense versus the Dolphins' defense when it comes to passing downs. And this more so favors uh, the Jets' Uh, offense here except for first down that's the the Dolphins offense does at least do a little about uh, you know about average ish on on first down situations and the Jets don't really do that well so um, but I will say this I think it'll be a very similar experience to the last time where the Jets will have success throwing the football because I think that's the big thing that caught them off guard was uh, the passing game of the Jets and I think they will have success again uh, in this game uh, because of just the, the issues that the Dolphins defense has in this particular area. Uh, they might they might make adjustments, but we'll see. Uh, then you look at the sack rate of the Dolphins versus the Jets. Uh, heavily favors the Dolphins overall when it comes to sacking, oh, well, well, uh, preventing sacks, I should say. Uh, and the Jets just don't really get a lot of sacks. Again, most of the sacks that the Jets actually get are on second down situations, but that's it. So... I would say this definitely heavily favors the Dolphins' offense in this game, except for uh, third down situations. Uh, then you look at the Jets' offense versus the Dolphins' defense, and this favors the Dolphins' defense when it comes to getting sacks on second down and third down. Then you look at interception ratio, Dolphins' offense versus Jets' defense. Second down, especially a major issue for the Dolphins when it comes to picks. First down as well uh, when it comes to picks. And third down is a little bit better. So... Say what you want about Jay Cutler. He definitely throws picks, but he's not throwing picks in crucial situations. You know, third down situations, he's not exactly throwing as many picks in those situations. Mostly throwing in first and second down situations. So take that ho however you want it, you know. Uh, and then when uh, we look at the Jets offense versus the Dolphins defense when it comes to interceptions, heavily favors the Jets offense in this particular matchup. Uh, so overall, how do I feel about this matchup? Well, it's another game... Uh, it, you know, it, it's a, there's going to be some adjustments. I, I don't necessarily think that it's going to be the same thing where the Jets are going to catch the Dolphins off guard. I think there's been more time for this Dolphins offense to mesh and gel because what really struck me from that first performance the Dolphins had versus the Jets earlier in the season was how ill-prepared they looked as a offense. You know, they didn't look very prepared uh, for what they were getting themselves into against the Jets in that game. And I think a lot of that stuff will will impact. Like I, I like I don't expect this to be a rerun of what happened last time, is what I'm trying to say. So I think that the Dolphins will be more competitive in this, competitive in this game, but I still think the Jets are going to come out with a win uh, ultimately because I I just think that defensively they they are pretty decent. I think the Dolphins still have inconsistencies with their offense, especially their passing offense. And especially their passing defense, which I think will be on full display again. Uh, so ultimately, you know, ultimately that's just kind of how I see it. So if the Dolphins come in this game and just wreck everything and, and prove, you know, prove me wrong, uh, which can, can happen on occasion, of course, uh, then that happens. But I definitely think that, 
this won't be a rerun of what happened last time, but I, I still think that the Dolphins would be competitive. But I do think the Jets will defensively make enough plays, make enough stops. Uh, and I think the Jets offense will continue to have a fair amount of success against uh, this Dolphins defense, specifically the pass defense, not the run defense. Uh, so, of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. Uh, you can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.